Hi everyone and welcome. This class is called No Judgment. And today through this class, we're gonna try to let go of all those diminishing thoughts um, that make you feel sometimes quite small or not capable. Um, the class we're gonna work mostly into our hips. I know which for a lot of you can store a lot of tension and emotion. Um, so let's begin, please. Find a comfortable seat like me and you'll sit with cross legs, but in a square shape. So you look between your legs and you've got um, a V shape. You take the hands behind you, shift your buttocks back just a touch, flex your toes, pull them back towards your shins, and then close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, take a deep breath into your chest. And with an open mouth, set the intention as you exhale to release your day. Again, take a breath in. And as you exhale, set the intention to let go, to release. And as you breathe in next, open your eyes. And then exhale, bow and fold forward over your legs. And we'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, fold. And as you fold, press into the edges of the feet. Again, breathing in. And as you breathe out, fold, press the edges of the feet and just notice the areas that are tight. Lift the chest, breathe in. And then change the crossing of the legs as you breathe out. Again, deep breath into the chest. And then as you exhale, fold and just noticing again where there is tension, breathing into there with no judgment. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold, and welcoming your tightness. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, you'll lean the fingertips behind you. Uncross your legs, spin your palms to face out towards the outer edges of the mat, press into your feet, and then as you breathe in, lift the pelvis up. And then looking forward, try and bring the pelvis to the height of the sternum. Wrap the inner shoulder towards the outer shoulder. Take one more breath as you claw the tips of the fingers to the earth. And then with your exhale, slowly sit back down. Okay. You'll cross the feet at the ankle and step yourself back to downward facing dog. And in a dog, please lift your heels. Take a little bend in your knees. Lift the front of the thighs towards the top back corner of the room as you press your arms nice and straight. And again, notice the areas that feel a bit tighter today. And direct breath into those areas. And as you breathe in next, look forward and take a step or two to arrive with your feet behind your hands. Take your hands to your shins, come up halfway as you press into your heels, draw the heels together. And then exhale, fold, draw the hands to the calves. Let the crown of the head extend towards the toes. Shake your head and free your neck. Make sure the neck is free by moving it from side to side. And then once again, hands to the shins, come up to the halfway mark as you breathe in. And then bow a little bit deeper, hands to calves. This time with the knees bent, try and draw the forehead a bit closer towards the shins as the lower belly pulls up. Then inhale, rise up, reach your arms wide, root into your heels, draw them together. And then exhale, pull the prayer down into the heart. And take a moment with the eyes closed to just set a simple intention to stay present with your breath and to stay present within the moment. Release your hands when you're ready. You'll separate your feet so they're just as wide as your hips. And we're going into a little squat. So you'll spin the feet about 10 degrees and then bend your knees, reach your hands forward and take a deep squat. And I'm sure most of you have done this at some point on the app or another with one trainer or another. Take a breath in and then sit a little bit deeper dragging the heels away from one another and sitting heavy into the heels. Take one more breath in, look forward, and then exhale, take both hands down to the earth. So you're in a sumo squat. Look up halfway, come onto your fingertips, and then step the right foot back and lunge. 
Let the back knee drop down towards the mat. I'm still on my fingertips. Pull the heart through the gate of the arms. And then exhale, step back to downward facing dog. The hands can be flat now. In the downward facing dog, please drop your knees down to the mat. Shift your buttocks back towards your heels. Slide your hands forward just a touch. And then as you inhale, come to all fours. Take the shoulders beyond the wrist. Bend the elbows, come through low push-up chaturanga and all the way down to the belly. Keep the elbows squeezing in. Inhale, cobra pose. Press into the hands as you lift the heart. And exhale, roll forward and down. Tuck your toes under, press up onto all fours. Shift the buttocks back towards the heels. And then downward facing dog as you breathe up. Take your hands or the thumbs together to touch. Swip the right leg up as you breathe in. Lift your bottom heel high. And then exhale, step the right foot to the outer edge of the right hand. Spin the foot out just about 10 degrees. Come up onto the fingertips. And then bend the front knee a bit deeper. Let the back knee drop low to the earth. Look forward as you inhale. Step the left foot to the outer edge of the left hand, spinning the foot out about 10 degrees. And you're back in the squat. Reach the arms forward. Sit low. Press down into your heels. Take a breath in. And then take the butt even further back as you breathe out, firing up the glutes. One more inhale, shoulders down. Exhale, hands to the earth. Stay with bent knees. Come on to fingertips. Look up halfway as you inhale. And then step your left foot back and lunge. Pop up onto the fingertips. Let the back knee drop low. Pull the heart through the arms as you inhale. Hands flat. Step back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Drop the knees down to the mat. Take the buttocks back towards the heels. Slide the hands slightly forward, then come forward to all fours, inhale. Bend the elbows, keep hugging them in, come through chaturanga, and all the way down to the belly as you exhale. Point the toes, inhale, cobra pose. The heart rises, the elbows hug in. Exhale, roll forward and down. Tuck your toes under, press up through all fours. Buttock shifts back towards heel, and then downward facing dog as you breathe out. Take the thumbs together to touch. Sweep the left leg up as you inhale. Come high under your right toes. Step the left foot to the outer edge of the left hand or as close as you can get it. Pop up onto your fingertips. And now as you deepen the bend in the front knee, let your back knee drop low. Inhale. Step the right foot to the outer edge of the right hand. The feet spin out about 10 degrees and we come back into the swap pose. This time, take a breath in. Press the legs to straight. Reach the arms up over the head. Breath out. Swim the hands down by your side. And we're going to do all that again. Inhale, bend your knees deeply. Sweep the arms forward. Exhale, slide the fingertips down to the earth. Look up halfway with the knees bent. Step the right foot back and lunge. Gaze forward as you breathe in. Let the right knee hover off the mat. Step back to downward facing dog as you breathe out. Take the hands flat. Drop the knees down to the mat. Take the buttocks back towards the heels. Shift the hands one centimeter forward. Come forward to all fours and hands. Bend the elbows, come through Chaturanga, and you can always float the knees if you want a little bit more. Inhale, Cobra Pose from the belly, press into the feet as you lift the heart. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog, press to all fours, and then float the knees. Take the palms or the thumbs, sorry, together to touch. Sweep the right leg up, lift the left heel high, breath in. Step the right foot to the outer edge of the right hand, spinning the foot out 10 degrees, breath out. Look forward as you inhale on fingertips. Step the left foot to the outer edge of the left hand, spinning the foot out. Breath up. Bend the knees, chair pose. Sorry, low squat. Fingers reach forward. Inhale. Stay there. Get low as you exhale. There's a challenge right here. Take a breath in. Fingertips to the earth. Breath up. Look up halfway. Inhale. Left foot steps back. Lunge on fingertips. Exhale. Right foot steps back, downward facing dog as you breathe. Drop the knees down to the mat. Take the buttocks back towards the heels. Reach the hands slightly forward. Inhale, come to all fours. Or you can always float the knees, bend the elbows, chaturanga low push up to the belly. From the belly, cobra pose. Lift the heart as you inhale. 
Lower forward and down as you exhale. Tuck the toes under, press up all fours, and then downward facing dog, empty your breath completely. Take the thumbs together to touch. Sweep the left leg up as you inhale, high on the right toes. Step the left foot to the outer edge of the left hand, spinning the foot out 10 degrees. Pop up onto the fingertips, look forward as you breathe in. Step the right foot to the outer edge of the right hand as you breathe out. Bend your knees, last squat here, reach the hands forward. Sit heavy as you exhale. Then reach the arms up, press the legs to straight, and slide the hands down by your side. Nicely done. I hope you warmed up a bit. You'll take one step back on the mat, draw the feet together, and now chair pose. The feet are together, the arms sweep forward and up. Lift your heels up high, take the backs of the ankles forward, balancing on the toe tips. You can take the hands and place them on the waist for better balance, and then lower down slowly, slowly. If you have tight Achilles, I know this will be hard, and come all the way down to a squat. Take the hands to the earth and assist yourself down to sit onto the floor. And we'll do a little bit of core work. Bring the legs up, please, to tabletop, bending the knees, and you can start here holding onto the backs of the thighs. If this is uncomfortable in your back in any way, you can tap the toes down to the mat and sit here. If you're feeling quite good and strong today, you might reach the fingertips forward, boat pose, three slow breaths. One. And notice here the inner dialogue, two. Notice how you speak to yourselves in these moments. Three. Bend your knees, tap the toes to the earth. If they're not there already, everyone hands to the front of the shin, and then lift and draw the heart up. Okay. We got one more round. You lift the legs up as you breathe in again to tabletop. Reach the hands forward, and we're going to lower down to a low boat pose. So you can hold on to your thighs and then slowly lower down to a dish shape. Float the feet off the earth, reach the hands forward. If this is a lot in your body, then please bend the knees and bring them to tabletop. Take your belly button and glue it to your spine. Breathe for three, for two, for one. If you need some support, hold on to your thighs and then inhale, rise back up. Nice. Cross the feet at the ankles and step yourself back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in, open your mouth and empty all the breath out. You drop your knees down to the mat, take your forearms down to the mat and take the palms together and touch them in prayer. You can interlace your fingers, elbows as wide as the shoulders, tuck your toes and lift your knees. This is called a dolphin pose and build strength in your shoulders. Please unlock your knees. It's okay for the heels to float off the mat. Press down into the forearms and try and draw the inner line of the shoulders away from the earth. 